I'm going to sound a little bit presumptuous, but bear with me. Are you going through a rough time right now? Today, yesterday, last week? I feel like God's giving you an invitation, and I feel what that invitation is in his words. Come away, my beloved. God is a good God, and he is always good. He might be leading you along a path that you'd rather not walk on today. Perhaps he's leading you towards a loving confrontation. Perhaps he's leading you towards transparency and honesty. He's holding your hand like any good father would, and maybe he's guiding you to that person to whom you need to make amends. He's standing beside you, and he knows what you are carrying is way too much for your shoulders. He knows the strain you are under, and he can feel your knees buckling under that weight. But until you give him permission, he can't carry that burden for you. And so he patiently waits. You are fretting and you're frustrated. You feel hard pressed. You're hoping that someone will give you the right word so you know what to do. You've been hoping that someone will pray the right prayer or give you that perfect counsel so you can feel that peace that you think the enemy has robbed from you. Perhaps you feel like you're under spiritual attack. But it could be that you're not under spiritual attack at all. It could be that you simply need to withdraw to a quiet place where you can commune with God. You don't need to call your best friend. You don't need to post on social media. And you don't need to call in the intercessors. You just need to take some time away with him. It doesn't need to take days or even hours to recalibrate your f focus, but you won't find that inner peace until your eyes gaze into the eyes of the Prince of Peace. I leave you with this quote. It is not the bee's mere touching of a flower that gathers honey, but her abiding for a time upon the flower that draws out the sweet. It is not he that reads the most, but he that meditates the most that will prove the choicest, sweetest, wisest, and strongest Christian. And that quote is Thomas Brooks. And the word meditate doesn't mean in Christian circles to clear your mind, but it means to fill your mind with the truth that God has for you. I'll talk with you later. I love you.